Mount Malowski was my first soda peak for the day. We were coming up from Los Gatos on Highway 35, also known as Skyline Boulevard, on the San Francisco Peninsula. As you drive by the highway, the app will tell you that the peak is just to your left, but there's no parking there. There is a private road, but nowhere to get in uh, and hike up to it. If you continue on Skyline Boulevard about a half mile to the northwest, you'll come to the Castle Rock Trailhead, where there's a small parking lot both on your right and your left. Either of these work, and you can hike back up the road. If you actually come to Castle Rock State Park on your left in that parking area, you've gone a little bit too far, although you could park here and it would only have an additional quarter mile of hike. It's also worth noting that Castle Rock State Park is a POTA activation site, but Mount Belowski is not within the park. Initially looking for the peak, I started up this private road, but shortly past the sign on the right, it is marked private and gated off. We were there on a Saturday morning and found plenty of parking right down the road about a half mile from the private road. Hiking half the distance back up towards the peak, you'll find this day use area that you can hike up the road to. And if you go to the right away from the peak, you'll actually come to an area that's within the activation zone, although just barely and allow you to activate. Wanting to get into the valley better i climbed up the ridge off the road into this wooded area and strung up a two meter dipole into the tree after some initial calling wasn't successful the two meter calling station was pretty busy so i tried to avoid it there was a san francisco radio club activity going on later i found out it was a parks activation and wish i'd have spent more time on that channel uh, overall i worked uh, 146.58 primarily and a little bit of 70 centimeter one thing to note is that I was not able to get a spot out here, so it took some time before I made contact and was able to get a chaser to put a spot for me. From here, I hiked up the uh, trail, and just a little ways off the road, you can climb up the ridge. Uh, if I was to activate this peak again, though, I think I would head up this way, which is closer to the true peak and uh, try working it from up there. It seems like the timber's a little thinner, but we've got our four for today, so that's it. I knew when I went out today, I wanted to hit two activations, Black Mountain actually being my primary target. It's about a 21 minute drive up the road to Montebello Open Space Preserve, where there's ample parking. We missed the lot and had to go slightly past it where we found a space for three cars to park on the left and begin our hike up the mountain. Black Mountain's another mountain with a pretty good size activation zone, and I was anxious to make contact with the Summit to Summit I had made on Mount Pulowski, so began calling as soon as I got into the area and quickly talked to KF6 ZEO. CQ, CQ, Soda, Can6, DFM calling CQ for... What the hell is this? I learned where Black Mountain's reputation for RFI came from when the weather station came over the top of the mountain. I found Black Mountain to actually be a pretty great activation. There is some RFI, but it's the least when you first get into the activation zone. So work this area on your way up to the peak and then enjoy the views when you get to the top and you have to deal with the RFI a little bit. Overall, the hike is a almost five mile round trip. Uh, through beautiful California countryside and quite enjoyable. I was able to make all my contacts, including a summit to summit, uh, in order to activate the peak. So I want to say special thanks to everyone who chased me on both mountains and helped me get a double header, folks making spots for me, and definitely the summit to summits were 
a lot of fun. One last word of advice on this mountain is that if you're a little girthier than you should be like I am, use the upper parking lot. The lower one is a bit of a tight squeeze.